of the Geico PBA Team Shootout. This is the championship match. Storm is ahead by 16 pins on the chameleon pattern. Wes Malott up, former PBA Player of the Year for Storm. Slightly crossing over, leaving a six. And here's what's happening on that left lane with the guys that, that throw it down. The big hook. There's nothing in the middle part of the lane. All right, the big hook guys, Belmonte, Wes Malott, Pete Weber, they're all playing way in and they can't get the ball right of the head pit. Johnny Petraglia, how do you get your team back in this? Right now, Randy, I got a flush one right here. I got to just make sure I don't over energize and hit the OV boards. Thanks, Johnny. Make a good shot here, boss. Yeah, 100%. Stick is there. Come on, Jojo. Oh, he flushed it. No. Great shot, buddy. Great, Great shot. shot. Great shot, JP. I don't know who Jojo is, but Jojo Great just left a stone eight. Fair enough. Stay on it. Pick it up. What a great shot. 63-year-old Johnny Petraglia. It's a spare for the PBA Hall of Famer. Great pitch, man. That was a great shot, wasn't it? Oh, and he called the shot. He said, I got a flush one here. Now, Weber, ninth frame, set up the tenth for his partner teammate, Norm Duke. Hall of Fame tandem. Here comes the ninth. Boy, how good was that? Now, remember the last time Weber threw it, he tried the loft at the ball checked early, and he came back to the bench and he said, you know, I thought I threw that one good. Norm Duke said, no, you didn't, you grabbed it. Well, Weber gets up, guess what? He doesn't grab that one. And there's the result. Team Brunswick up now. Parker Bone the third attempting to set up a 10th for Sean Rash. Don't forget, endless 10th frame, still a possibility. This match is not over. Ninth frame. Oh boy. Oh boy. Goes outside. Picket fence for Parker. Oh, Parker and there's the out of bounds boards that Johnny Petraglia was talking about. You know, again, there's so much strategy involved in this team competition. Team Brunswick decided to take this chameleon oil pattern to the title match, even though there's out of bounds to the left for the left handers. Open frame for Brunswick. Wow. Come on, man. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Big shot. Norm Duke in the tenth frame and a possible endless tenth activated by a strike on the fill ball. In that event, play returns to the top of the order. You must keep striking to score. Norm Duke in the tenth. Light hit bucket. He made one of these to win a major at one point, Randy. Well, I'll tell you what, this match has had more turns than a Kirby Street in San Francisco. This is getting crazy. I can't even keep up with it. Norm Duke looking to put away Team Brunswick. Remember, he went just a little bit high the first time he got up in the fifth frame, left that four pin, makes an adjustment, ball doesn't hook up. Now he's left himself with a tough bucket. Now leaves the double wood open frame in the 10th. No endless 10th. Door open now for Brunswick. Unbelievable. I mean, just unbelievable. Remember when he won the US Open, Mike, you touched on it. He had to convert this very spare, and it's just a whiff. Team Brunswick now, their only chance is for Sean Rash to get him into extended frames. No. All right, he's got to cover this, strike on the fill. They will have the endless 10th frame. They will then need to throw two more. 
rundown. Yeah, and remember the last time Sean Rash was up in the fifth frame, he whipped the 10 pin. So Rash, no problem on that four pin. Must strike now to activate the endless 10. It looked like a little flinch there when he was shooting the four pin. Did you see that follow through? Hey, so I was to win, man. They're done. I need a turkey. All right. Look at that flinch and that follow through going dead left, man. You don't think he's breathing in sigh of relief right now? Got a strike right here to have any chance. Sean Rash must strike to activate an endless 10. Come on, Walsh. Dead flush, and Brunswick is alive. Endless 10 coming up with Brad Angelo and Carolyn Dorn Ballard. We will resolve this championship with an endless 10th frame at Six Flags Great Adventure. Will Andrew and Dorn Ballard win it for Team Brunswick. Why do hard Ballard? The Geico PBA Team Shootout Crystal Cup will be decided on the basis of an endless 10th frame. You are looking at Brad Angelo. Must strike to give Carolyn Doran Ballard a chance to win it outright. Remember, bragging rights on the line. Who's got the best equipment? Who's got the best staff on tour? All coming down to Brad Angelo and Carolyn Dorn Ballard. Pressure on the line. Angelo delivers. That's a big time shot right there, my friends. Big time shot. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Brad Angelo, ice water in his veins, steps up and snaps the 10 out. Now, can Carolyn Dorn Ballard do the same thing? You're right. The only lady in the competition will decide the winner of this Geico PBA team shootout. One shot, 10 pins. Team Storm survives and runs the table in the step ladder. Well, you know the adrenaline was through the roof for Carolyn Dorn Ballard, man. This is what you live for. She had a lot of people relying on her in the back, a lot of pressure, and just unable to get it done for Team Brunswick. And teammates consoling Carolyn Doran Ballard after Team Storm survives to take the cup here at the Geico PB.